What's going on, YouTube? It's your boy, Dermy Wormy. And I got, I, I saw this article. I, uh, what, well, not this article, this post from uh, Gary. I guess it was yesterday, but I could have swore I saw it today. And I, I listen, for those of you who don't know, I'm a huge fan of an individual by the name of Gary Beagler, who's a, a whose YouTube channel is Nerdrotic. Sub to Nerdrotic beat Dan Vask. I'm a huge fan of his, okay? I like the dude. I think the dude is good. He does great work. But he tweeted this out. I guess it was yesterday, but I could have swore it was today. Miles Morales is Miles Morales. With a screenshot of an article in the know. By, well, it's by in the know. Uh, Yahoo are... Why? Yahoo? God, what am I doing? It's by Yahoo. In the know by Yahoo. That's what's going on here, okay? I'm, I'm, I'm special. Give me a break. Anyways, why are some Spider-Man fans saying Miles Morales is Miles Morales? Well, it's a factual statement, but I, I got curious, got really curious on this and decided to look up the article. Why are some Spider-Man fans saying Miles Morales is Miles Morales? Listen, it's very simple because it's a factual statement. Miles Morales is, a My is Miles Morales. That is both his name and everything else. Well, when you break, also when you start breaking it down, the full statement, in fact, is why Peter Parker is Spider-Man. Miles Morales is Miles Morales. It is a long running joke. It is a way to get interaction most of the time on Twitter when you just tweet it out. Miles Morales is Miles Morales, Peter Parker, Spider-Man, so on and so forth. What does it mean? Well, it's very, it's multi-layered. It really is. One, it's a factual statement. Peter Parker is Spider-Man. Miles Mar Morales is Miles Morales. That is his name. Then it gets more complicated. Peter Parker is the definitive Spider-Man. When anybody says Spider-Man, they immediately think of Peter Parker. Now, Miles Morales is technically a Spider-Man, a Spider-Person, if you will. But when it boils down to, he's never really been allowed to have his own character growth, his own character assessment, his own rogues gallery. He, he's never been able to be himself. He doesn't even have a unique name. And I did a whole video on this actually in my I, I uh, Insomniac destroys its company regarding Miles Morales and stuff like that. But one of the big things that people don't realize when it comes to Miles Morales is why are you so afraid to let him have his own name? And a lot of people came back at me and said, well, you know, there, Gwen Stacy's a Spider-Man. No, she's Ghost Spider. Well, you got Spider-Punk. That's Spider-Punk. Well you, well, you got Spider Noir, this spider person, this spider person, that spider person, all with unique and different names. You also had Spider Gwen for a while, but that became Ghost Spider. But th they all have unique, different names. They all have unique, different variations of each other. They are their own characters for the most part. But Miles Morales himself is just Miles Morales or Spider-Man, and he usually lives in the shadow of Peter Parker. When he was on his own and let's say like the Miles Morales movies, even though he's not really on his own in those movies, they are liked movies. He has his own character growth and arc and movements and stuff like that, but he's still having to be propped up by people like Peter Parker. He still has to get propped up by the main Spider-Man. Then when he was in his, when he was first released in his comics in the ultimate universe, he was kind of allowed to be his own. He was allowed to do his own thing. He was the only Spider-Man around. So it kind of worked out, but he still should have his own unique name. He shouldn't still be Spider-Man, at least in the current iteration where he's in 616 and you have technically two Spider-Man running around. It doesn't make sense. Why can't we have P Miles Morales stand on his own? That's another statement when it comes to, you know, the whole Peter Parker Spider-Man, Miles Morales is Miles Morales. It, it's a, actually a criticism on you guys have never let Miles Morales exist on his own and give him his own unique name. On top of that, it also makes fun of a little thing that Marvel does themselves. Coming here to the toys. This is a Across the Spider-Verse toy. Miles Morales. Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse. Miles Morales. Spider-Man. Miles Morales. They always have to remind you that this is Miles Morales. But when you come over here to type in like Spider-Man toys. What do you get? You, you primarily get Peter Parker, Peter Parker, Peter Parker, Peter Parker, Peter Parker, Peter Parker. 
These are the, the the Peter Parker. You always get Peter Parker pulled up when you get when you type in Spider Man toys, and then on top of that, when it comes to the video games, even this is I, I think this is perfect right here. You got Spider Man. Okay, you see Spider Man right here. No, we'll scroll down here. So you go from here, Spider Man, the PS Five PS Four game. Then you come over here to the definitive edition that had the DLC attached to it. Spider-Man, Miles Morales. They have to specify who is who. They have to specify that this is Miles Morales every single time. That's why the joke, the running joke, kind of is. You guys haven't even given his own his own character name. He ha doesn't have his own superhero name. He doesn't have his own superhero being. Why can't you guys just give him that? Why can't you call him something? And I usually joke, hey, call him Ghetto Spider, but. That that's a joke, but at the same time, why can't he be something like that? Why can't you guys give him his own unique character, his own unique name, his own unique rogues gallery? Because even his own his own his his like own particular villain, Prowl, is just a recharacterization of a Spider-Man villain, a Peter Parker villain, just changed for Miles. Okay, uh well, on top of that, his story is basically the same as Peter Parker. Uncle Ben dies. Uncle Ben was very influential in his life. Uncle Ben dies. He ends up becoming Spider-Man. It, it, it's the exact same story, the exact same intonations, the exact same style. That's, that's one of the complaints here. Okay, so that, that, there's multiple ways of interpreting that. But you come down here. Only a few weeks after fans were baffled to see Insomniac Games had accidentally mixed up the Puerto Rican flag... Uh, Puerto Rican and Cuban flags and the highly anticipated record-breaking Spider-Man 2 video game. I don't really think it was record-breaking. Uh, somebody needs to fact check that. Now the community is debating who the real Spider-Man is. N no, there is no debate. It's a definitive statement. Peter Parker is the definitive Spider-Man. Miles Morales is a spider person. I'll say that. I'll be nice. He's a spider person. The game's storyline features Miles Morales, who uh, I don't really care. And the aftermath of the game con Conclusion, some members of Marvel's communities have resurfaced a statement first po popularized in 2021 by YouTuber Nerd Roddick. Peter Parker is Spider-Man. Miles Morales is Miles Morales. It is a factual statement. It, it, definitively, it is a factual statement. Nerd Roddick, whose real name is Gary Beagler, uh, they only do that because they want to try to push this out here because you don't really need to say his real name, but uh, okay. First posted this phrase on X, formerly known as Twitter, and a following follow-up live stream. Beagler elaborated, saying, when the general public thinks about the real identity of Spider-Man, they think of Peter Parker, not Miles Morales, which is true, definitively true. I just did it here. Okay, Spider-Man game. You scroll down here, you got Spider-Man, Spider-Man, Miles Morales. I, uh, real quick, I know this is uh, Miguel O'Hara, but Miguel O'Hara is a spider person. I know he goes by Spider-Man right now, but people d identify him as Spider-Man uh, 2099. No, I'm probably getting the dates wrong, the, the time wrong, but he's a futuristic Spider-Man. This gets into a whole deeper discussion of mantles and stuff, but this particular Spider-Man, Miguel O'Hara, is his own character. He is not like Miles Morales. Miles Morales is Miles Morales. He's still not his own unique character. Miguel O'Hara is. Unique roster, unique characterization stands alone. That's what it is. Same with like somebody like Terry McGinnis. Different rogues gallery, different storyline stands on it as own. But anyways, okay, that, but he's right. People think of Peter Parker first. They don't think of Miles Morales. However, some users thought there was a racist element to what Beagler was saying, especially since Morales is a black Puerto Rican character. Yeah, they, they think it's racist because they assume we're only talking about the race. They don't assume we're talking about what I just elaborated on. All those key facts. To what Beagler was saying, especially since Morales is Black Puerto Rican character, supports argued that Morales is to supporters argue that Morales is tokenized by being used as a replacement for an originally white comic book character instead of having his own superhero identity, which is honestly kind of accurate. I'm not going to lie. It's very much accurate. It goes to something that uh, Eric July is famously called uh, Miles Morales that I don't think I can actually repeat. I, I'm just going to say that. 
Eric July has a uh, has a special card that I can't use. But uh, now the debate has started again after Spider Man Two game release. It really hasn't started again. Like th- this comes up every now and then. People tweet it out. I tweeted it out today because it's a good way to get interactions. Most of the time, sometimes not. Really depends on the size of your Twitter account and your following. But uh, when reached for comment, Beagler told in the no by Yahoo, which is honestly cool that uh, Yahoo, uh, the no actually, you know, sent this out, actually asked for comments and didn't just characterize these people. But it would be difficult for me to expand on a statement of fact. Peter Parker is Spider-Man and Miles Morales is Miles Morales. Whatever is projected onto my tweets after that is entirely up to the in- Inter- entirely up to the internet which is true one what he tweets out is a fact statement 100 percent, it is a fact statement so when you imply that it's a racial connotation when it's you imply that it's simply because of racism or anything like that that's all on you not us that's 100 percent on you everything i broke down and my whole like everything i said with my breakdown of the statement Nothing really came up about his race. I, I don't care. I, I actually would like Miles Morales to stand as his own two feet. So YouTuber Melanie Mac is one of the people bringing the phrase back in response to the Spider-Man 2 game. In a reaction video from November 6, Mac claimed that the Marvel has been trying to shoehorn Miles Morales into Peter Parker's Spider, Spider-Man space. And that is also true. They This is actually a fact in actually the comic book spaces ever since they brought him into 616 they have wanted to diminish uh peter parker they have been wanting to prop up miles they want to put replace miles more uh not miles morales they want to replace peter parker with miles morales this is one of their go-to facts one of their go-to features they want miles morales to be peter parker that is all that they want to do instead of which, which is honestly tokenization which goes to the fact that yes his story is exact same as peter parker why can't you just have him basically quit living the shadow of Peter Parker and just give him his own story and his own name and his own unique character? Why, why can't you do that? Oh, because you're afraid he's going to fail. That's why. Because you want to replace past characters and you're too scared to actually write a good story. But in the nerd culture space, especially we are, especially, we are constantly seeing legacy characters who many of us grew up with and love either completely rebooted and transformed beyond recognition or sidelined in their own franchises. True. 100% true. Miles Morales is a perfect example of this. Actually, no, a better example of this comes in almost every MCU movie. Doctor Strange Multiverse of Madness. Doctor Strange was sidelined in his own show, in his own movie. On top of that, you go to The Witcher. Geralt of Rydvia is a side character in his own show. This is something people have been dealing with forever and people are getting tired of. We want our characters to be our characters. Okay? Quit shoehorning your guys' failed characters into our stuff. Mac told in the no, in the no by Yahoo!, In this case, with Miles Morales, I personally have found the character to be fun and likable, but he very much is different and therefore should have his own identity. Exactly. He should be his own character. He should be his own person. He is a fun, likable character, especially in the movies. He's fun and likable. But give him his own space. Give him his own story, his own roster of villains. Send him to a new place and have him make all new villains, all new, all, all, basically all new villains, different villains. And on top of that, let him find his own name. Let him be his own person. For, for fudge sakes, call him Night Spider. Okay, just call him something. Black Arachnid, something like that. Okay, just do it. Peter Parker is such an iconic character. He is Spider-Man, she continued. Miles Morales is great, but Miles Morales is Miles Morales. Yes. Yes. This breaks it down plain and simple. All these break it down. And all the people that end up saying, trying to use uh, the Stan Lee quote, saying anybody could be Spider-Man, you know, anybody. That is, that they're misrepresenting that quote. That quote basically says you can identify with Spider-Man. Not anybody can be Spider-Man. You can identify with Spider-Man. That's what it is. And everybody keeps breaking it down to this racial thing because they have this weird attachment to miles morales 
when people that do the factual statement of nine majority of the time, people that use the factual statement that Peter Parker, Spider-Man, Miles Morales is Miles Morales actually do want Miles Morales to be his own character. I actually kind of do want Miles Morales to have his own existence, his own character, his own name, all that. Why can't we do that? Oh, because they're too scared to do it. They're too worried to do it. And they know it's going to fail because they're not good writers. You can do this all day and night. Just, just, just do it. That, that's what it comes down to. But I'm going to leave it there, guys. Let me get your thought, guys' thoughts on all this down in the comments below. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Share it out, friends. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that notification bell for every time I put out a new video and go live. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye for now. What's going on, guys? Listen, it's Christmas season coming up. And you know what makes great gifts? That's right, Coffee Brand Coffee. Coffee Brand Coffee makes wonderful gifts. And guess what? They don't just have great coffees, teas, and cocos. They also got gear. They got K-Cups. And also, they got wonderful gift boxes. Gift boxes that include all sorts of wonderful, great goodies. You got chocolate-covered coffee beans, raspberry yogurt pretzel twists, sea salt milk chocolates, caramel. You got chocolate-covered coffee beans, peppermint hot cocoa, spicy and sweet treat mixes, kettle corn pop, premium vacuum travel tumblers, and all sorts of wonderful great stuff that you can get at Coffee Brand Coffee. And these make great Christmas gifts. So guys, please check out coffeebrandcoffee.com and use promo code BACKTACO at checkout to get 10% off your purchase. That's coffeebrandcoffee.com, promo code BACKTACO.